Yo guys, I've put together a guide on how to get the super powerful hand of Melina Katana. Also the Halic Tree secret medallion pieces, which you're going to need to even get the Katana. As you can see it's extremely long, it's got bleed and the combo when you do the uh, button with two swords are ridiculous. So in PvP, you're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> But uh, we'll jump straight into it. Um, at this first, we're going to start at the top of the map. I'm going to Castle Saul Main Gate to kill Commander Nile for the first half of the medallion. So we're going to walk in the main gate, take a left, follow it around. Uh, there's going to be some slugs in here. I've used in the Frost Stomp, just one shots them. Got the ladders. Follow it around. There'll be a guy on the corner throwing grenades. So just try and dodge him. And kill that dude. Uh, next we'll be coming up to a couple of crossbow guys who shoot explosive arrows. So uh, just get around him. Shoot him. Just don't do what I do there and get hit. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a noob. But anyway, roll through. Get your revenge on these two guys. They're really weak. They just hit like trucks for some reason. Jump down here. And you'll see a painting. Grab that. Follow it through. Dodge the wolves. Run through here. Run up the stairs. There'll be two guys that you see that just come from invisible. Just kill them. This guy is really strong. So I just skipped him. Got the sight of grace. And then reset him. Then follow it through here. Take a left. Through the doors. Just sprint past everything. And then there'll be a lift there. If you grab that. Just for later on. Go through here. And you'll fight command denial now. If you uh, spawn the mimic. That's probably the best thing to do. Because uh, he can take a lot of the aggro. And he can hit hard. I'm just trying to cheese it really and just use the uh, frost stomp just to uh, try and kill him as quick as possible for the video purpose but if I was you definitely uh, take your time once you kill these two minions you'll notice he goes into some electric phase and he's got some crazy leg You can easily dodge him. Unless you're me, then you get hit by like everything. But just try and take it slow. Eventually you'll kill him. I have heard he is a really strong boss. But I had the Blasphemous Blade through my playthrough. So he didn't seem that hard in all personal opinion. But follow it through. Come up to this elevator. There shouldn't be any uh, mobs left. So just follow it through. Up here. You'll see a ghost. And you'll get the first half of the uh, medallion. Then we're going to head to the bottom left of the map. Village of the Albernix. Or Albernix. However you pronounce that. Head there. Head up the hill. Speak to this old lady. She talks about uh, old Albus. So get the camp. Uh, follow it up. Fight this mob. Lovely. And then just run forward and there'll be a pot on the right. If you just hit that, Albus will come out. Talk to him. Exhaust all his dialogue. And it'll give you the second half of the medallion. We'll then be heading to the grand lift of Ruled. So head there. If you come here, you, you press right or left on a D-pad and you'll notice it changes. Ho hoist the secret medallion. And you'll go to a different location.
This is a really good dungeon. Uh, the boss is a mimic. My personal uh, little tip is to go into the boss fight with no weapon on. So when you fight him, he'll spawn with no weapon. Then you can put your weapon on and easily kill him. <laughs> I wouldn't really advise going into this room. I just did it for the video just to show you. It's a crazy bait. So don't do that. So just take straight left, come these stairs. You see there's a little hole there. If you go down and drop down, you'll fall onto a secret path. Some good items in. But just follow it through. Get the sight of grace. And we can easily skip that dungeon. But definitely go back and do that. It's really good. And some good items in there. Next we're going to head to Ordina. Lurgical Town. So just head in that direction. Just try and dodge every mob. It's a really good area. Crazy snowstorm. But if you just head straight into that direction. You'll see uh, here that I'm running past is where you get the map location. So definitely grab that. Just follow it over. You'll get to the town. And there'll be a site of grace. I'll just grab that. Now we can follow it round. And you'll notice there's a door up the top of them stairs that needs to be sealed. So you're going to need to do this gargoyle. And you need to light four figures of the Everglade. Uh There's five on the map. There's the first one there on the right in the snow. And that's called Law Contenders. There's one on the far left. That's called Cuckoos. You've got a little bit lower down. That's called Malfactors. One there called Forlorn Hound. And there's one called Weeping Everglade. Once you've done them. Well you only got to do four. Once you've done them, you head back there and you'll go into a different phase. He'll want you to light four of these places. So there'll be one here. This is the best pathway I thought to take. So there'll be one there. If you jump over that, you go up the ladders. You go up um, just when he moves his butt. Go up here. Go up these other set of ladders. There'll be another one there. Drop down onto this roof. <laughs> Don't worry about dying. Because you will uh, phase into an area and there will be mobs. Once you light one area, you won't have to light it again. But there's four to get. So that's two. You'll come up here. There's another one here. That's three. And if you do a 180, you'll notice across there, there is the fourth one. Just drop down. Try and be as fast as you can because... There is a couple of mobs roaming around that goes invisible and they do backstab you. But just run there, grab that, go up the ladders and this will get the fourth one. Once you do that, you'll phase back into the normal world and you'll notice the seal has been opened. <coughs> All right. To make you through, sail through here, travel to the next location. You end up at McQuilla's Hallig Tree. Of course, you'll notice I'm just speeding through it, but do take your time. Grab that Lost Grace. A really cool area. But like I say, just just take your time. But just follow it down. Watch the ants. You'll notice that guy there from range. Just try and dodge him. And you will get uh, rotted. Don't worry about that too much. Because we're going to uh, slide down these ladders. And there should be a sight of grace here. So grab that. Then, uh, you know, sit down. Reset everything. Get rid of that debuff. Next we're just going to follow it round. 
You can run and jump this, but if you're bad like me, you'll just fall down. Um, and then you can just get up the ladders. Um, as you'll see here, look, I can show you, there's, if you run and jump, you can just easily walk along the bridge. But follow it around, dodge these mobs, you'll get to another site of grace. Grab that, reset the mobs. This will be uh, the final site of grace before uh, we fight the next boss. Just uh, jump along these rooftops. And what we're going to do, we're going to run and take a left. Jump that. And uh, activate that lift for later on if we need that. Let's watch these magicians. So they hit like trucks. Alright, come through here. And you will face the boss, Loretta. Knight of the Halig Tree. My advice is spawn the um, Mimic. Definitely take the aggro off you, make it a bit easier. And we're just going to fight him. As you can see, he hits quite hard. I know this is plus three, but he does like half your health in one hit. In all fairness, he's quite a slow guy with his spear. But the, you know, the mage hits hit really hard. Look at, the, like, as you see there, the triple arrow shot nearly killed me. But thankfully, he didn't. Anyway, kill him. Get the sight of Greg's. Rest up. Right, we're going to follow this round. I notice there's a chest here when it's lying down the ladders. It's got a really good uh, item in. I think it's a talisman. But if you go up them stairs and follow it through, you'll be able to get that no problem. So get on the lift, follow it down, and we'll turn on to the next zone. Not too sure, but I decided to kill this mob. Just take some anger out. <laughs> Get this sight of grace. This is called prayer room. Sight of grace. So we're going to uh, run down here. Skip all these mobs. Jump down here. Jump down here. Run along. Jump up here. There is a chest there, I definitely advise getting that. Uh, drop down, drop down again, jump over here. I'd say this is the best route to take because um, you don't engage in too many mobs. And them guys there with the crossbows hit really hard, so definitely don't try and do that. Uh, run along, drop down, hit to the next site of grace. Uh, you can run here on the left, and there is a good weapon there. I think it's a crystal sword or something. After that, run here, take a right. Follow it down is a tree trunk. Uh, you will get rotted in this liquid, but uh, just keep using pots. Don't worry too much, because the uh, Sight of Grace isn't, isn't far away. So just follow it along. Try not to miss your jumps. Drop down. Uh, and you'll get to a site of grace. Which is called Drainage Channel. Grab that. Get rid of the rot. And let's go. Just follow it around. Jump along the trees, drop down this ledge, drop down to this, and drop down again. What we'll be doing is coming through like the roof uh, onto the wooden beam. I'm going to drop down here. 
fight these, and in this chest there is a dragon crest great shield talisman. Really good talisman for all these shield users. My advice also is like, uh, you know, take it slow, explore, because there's a lot of stuff in this area. Obviously I'm just speeding through. Take this lift, and you'll get to the final, you know, site of grace that we need. Grab that. That's Halig Tree Root. And now we're going to fight the boss, the main boss. Malina. She's extremely difficult, I'd say. I'd probably say she's like the hardest boss in the game, personally. Um, so definitely spawn a mimic. I'm just uh, using the cheese strat, I guess they call it. With the uh, frost stomp. But she does hit hard. And look at the size of them samurais. They just poke you ridiculously. I've noticed a lot of streamers having difficulty with this boss and raging. Even myself. <laughs> Look, one hit with the samurai, pretty much half my health. So just be careful. If you've got bleed, I'm certain that's really good against her. But luckily I get her sort of trapped in the corner. Look, me and my mimic, we're just nuking her down. <laughs> well, we'll get her on to phase two now. She'll start in the air. Definitely run, and as soon as she starts coming for you, just do a roll. Because that flower will one-shot you. Just try and get your Mimic to uh, take aggro. And then you can obviously just keep Frost on being or whatever you've got. And just nuke her down. If you notice, she, she's uh, health just drains really fast in this phase. But she also hits really hard, so... Just take it slow and poke at her. And before you know it, she'll be dead. Just like that. Now, uh, we've got the remembrance of the rock goddess. Um... So now we're going to hit the site of grace and we're going to head back to the round table. I find it best. My match. I'm going to spawn here, take a right, talk to finger reader Ina and uh, you'll be able to see there that we can use the reward. To so either purchase the hand of Melina's sword or the Scarlet Ayana. Of course, if you want both, then uh, I'm going to show you now sort of where to go to find a big turtle. Another one with a big uh, like cathedral on its back. Go there, knock it down, and you can duplicate that to then get one of each. I'm on my third playthrough or something now, so I've managed to do it twice and get both of the swords. Sadly, it only lets you purchase one of each. You can't purchase two swords if you duplicate, which is annoying. So, But there you have it. I hope you liked. If you can like, comment, and subscribe, that would be amazing. If you even got any suggestions of any videos, then uh, just drop them below, and I'll, you know, I'm happy to do that. But thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed and take care.